Hi guys, welcome back uh, to the Arun Sharma Mindworks channel and we are doing Quant's question of the day 7 today. And uh, I hope you are enjoying this series. Do do let me know how, how you are finding it. Do share the videos, do do comment on the videos. I uh, Sometimes I am not, I'm not able to answer each, each query on the videos but one thing which is definitely very important for me is that I do read all the, all the comments and do enjoy uh, everything that is happening from your side. It does motivate me to do more for, for all of you. And I have been sorry for, uh, for the fact that I have uh, been a little bit absent over the last few uh, days uh, on YouTube. Uh, reason for that essentially is that my books are getting revised. So there are certain deadlines which I am uh, which I am uh, uh, hurtling towards and uh, I need to make sure that the the last minute uh, or the last last month uh, or so for book revisions becomes very hectic because of so many errors creeping in etc. You have to do a very strong proofreading job etc. In spite of that still you still have 1% errors, 2% errors which are still left in the book which you really cannot uh, eliminate uh, because of uh, the, the multiplicity of processes there. But uh, uh, of course, if you're finding any errors, any of my books, please comment here. Uh, I will uh, definitely uh, look at them, answer them and I'll correct them. And you can also uh, message me or mail it to me on arun.mindworks at gmail.com. Mindworks is with a double Z, A-R-U-N dot M-I-N-D W-R-K double Z at gmail.com. In case you have any uh, uh, if you spotted any any of these errors inside inside the book chalo so quant's question of the day 7 for you interesting question pretty interesting question iqbal dealt some cards to mushtaq and himself from a full pack of playing cards now full pack of playing cards triggers in the question 52 cards full pack of playing cards that means we are talking about 52 cards and laid the rest aside. So that means he's not dealing the whole card, the whole card stack. He's dealing a part of it. Iqbal then said to Mushtaq. So, so what has happened is the the 52 card stack has got uh, has got uh, distributed amongst Iqbal and Mushtaq in this form. Iqbal has got some, Mushtaq has got some, and the others are kept aside. Right? This is the starting understanding from that first uh, statement. And, and you have to, one of the principles of good quality solving of, uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, quantitative aptitude and even data and predation is that you should be reading in chunks so that you can react to what is written there and you can react in small, small bite-sized reactions. If you can do that, the questions become much easier than what you experience them to be. So let's see what, what it says further. I would, I would encourage you to sit to, to stop the video and try to solve this on your own also. But uh, let me let me take this further further from here. Iqbal then said to Mushtaq. So Iqbal is telling Mushtaq, if you give me a certain number of cards, I'll have four times as many cards as you have. That means if Mushtaq transfers x cards to Iqbal, now the fourth variable in this question, you already have three variables i, m, and and the rest. And the only only equation you have is Iqbal plus Mushtaq plus the rest is 52. And now fourth variable is being introduced. If you transfer, if you give me a certain number of your cards, I will have four times as many cards as you will have. So this means Iqbal will have i plus x and Mushtaq will have m minus x. And the relationship going this way will be four times. Right? And if, you give, if I give you the same number of cards, I will have thrice as many cards as, you, as I have. Next reaction, next information. If I give you the same number of cards, I'll have three times as many cards as you have. So if I give you the same number of cards, so that means if the transfer is the opposite side, Iqbal gives it to Mushtaq, then Iqbal will have I minus X and Mushtaq will have M plus X and this relationship is into three. Mushtaq to Iqbal is still into three, not Iqbal to Mushtaq. Please remember that. So of the given choices, which could represent the number of cards with Iqbal? So we are talking about the value of i here. And this is the cat question. And uh, it's symptomatic of what I talk a lot about in the context of cat questions. I, I, I talk about the fact that when you're talking about solving cat questions and, uh, and questions of the cat, you have three principal approaches in, in maths on which you solve questions. One approach, and this I keep talking about in my in my lectures, and my mindwork students know this, because this is the theme of our, our whole prep strategy, 
that you have to look at i mean of course there, there are some questions which will have five six ways of doing it but uh, normally a lot of these questions have three alternate strategies to solve it i'm not talking about number of ways i'm talking about strategies so one strategy is where you start with the algebra and maybe i've talked about this in one of the previous uh, uh, lessons of this course one strategy is where you start with algebra and continue all the way algebraically so if i if i now start mutating these equations you know what i mean by mutating these equations if i start mutating these equations and start uh, trying to transform them to get to a value of i i'll be doing that i'll be doing that i'll be going algebraically right through but as i always tell my students when i talk about this it is important for you to know this process and this is something that all, all of you engineers out there have actually uh, studied very well and very deeply so it's important for you to know this process but it is not a very fruitful process in the cat because it will take you so much time that writing time etc for something like this you will have to write so much that you will not uh, not be able to uh, to uh, to actually uh, manage the time frames and the time time versus attempt situation that you need to manage and ss solutions ko isko agar tum algebraically jane wale ho to i have a i have a name which i which has a <laughs> which has a hindi uh, Uh, Hindi uh, translation which I which I talk about. Of course, आजकल तो ये उतना relevant नहीं है लेकिन पहले CAT में क्या होता था Earlier what used to happen in the CAT was the paper used to be a physical test paper and you had to do all your rough work on on the pages on the sidelines etc. And you had maybe a couple of extra pages at the end. So I used to I used to tell my students when I used to teach this uh, at my start in my starting years I used to call this the SRT JNR process, which means कि समय रहेगा तो जगह नहीं रहेगी you can you can even if you find the time to do this you will not have the space to write all this so samay rahega to jagah nahi rahegi that's the translation for this or that's the literal transliteration for that so so don't go the algebraic way what what works in cat is numerical 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 start with numbers and end with numbers and what also works in cat very very importantly what works in cat is a couple of steps of algebra and a few steps numbers so so that's why you knowing the algebraic process is important you should be able to frame equations that that skill is still important but transforming the equations and and building the equations and and transforming and as i said what we know as mutating the equation i call it mutating the equation where you are taking this from here and there you know how to solve these things although this will be a challenge even after that so so these are two valuable processes and some of you who are only numerical solvers i i advise them that you also become you also pick up this approach because i've seen a lot of cat questions where if you have this second approach also if you're only a numerical solver then it will be a be a problem so you know that options improves things but but options with an understanding of the algebra be, below it will actually be the best way to handle these things so how do you do this question now so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to try to given the that i have got options here i'm going to try to introduce these options into my into my uh, situation so the question is talking about iqbal right the question is are talking about iqbal so if i'm talking about iqbal and iqbal has a larger number of uh, coins because in this case he gets four times the uh, the the cards in this case he gets four times the cards of mushtaq in that case he gets three times the cards of mushtaq i know these things so given that iqbal should have a little bit more uh, numbers i would first pick these two options दैट इकबाल का नंबर ऑफ कार्ड्स थोड़ा ज़्यादा होना चाहिए राइट एंड वॉट आई सी द विजन यू शुड यू शुड बी एबल टू सी इन दिस क्वेश्चन बाय द वे दिस क्वेश्चन इज माई प्री असेसमेंट टेस्ट ऑफ द क्वांट्स बुक विच आई एम इन द न्यू एडिशन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू आई कैन गिव यू अ ब्रीफ इन साइड इन टू दैट आई एम कन्वर्टिंग ऑल द प्री प्री असेसमेंट टेस्ट इन टू वट आई एम कॉलिंग एस कैट स्कैंस बट आई दैट दैट्स फॉर अनदर डे माई कैट बुक माई नाइन्थ एडिशन शुड कम आउट बाई मे जून दिस ईयर 2021 so anyway that's when i'm recording this video but the video will obviously be available to you later also so coming back so if i if i take 31 the thinking the numerical thinking now that i introduce into this mathematical or in this algebraic situation is that if i add x to it it should become a multiple of 4 so on the on the upside upper side of 31 i see two multiples of 4 32 36 40 is also there but it's far fetched it's slightly far fetched or 
if I subtract x from a, from uh, uh, from uh, i, then this becomes the number becomes a multiple of three. So in in the 32 situation, the value of x is one. In the 36 situation, the value of x is five. In the 40 situation, the value of x is nine. On the other side, if I subtract uh, x, if I am adding x as one here, in the subtraction case, I am taking the i as 31. So I'll have 30 cards here. If plus 5 will give me minus 5, 26, which is not a multiple of 3, so I can reject this option. This, this pair, and plus 9 here means minus 9 there, 22 cards, which is again not a multiple of 3. So I've got a pair of values. If, if the, the exchange of cards is one card, then in this case, Iqbal ends up with 32 cards. In this case, Iqbal ends up with 30 cards. And continuing on the, on the, on the track or the triggers given the questions, Iqbal has 32 cards here, and that is four times what Mushtaq has here. So Mushtaq should have eight cards here, because that's, that's the only way the into four relationship will, will get uh, managed. And after giving away one card, value of x is one. So after giving away one card, Mushtaq has got to eight, so he must have nine cards with him. So if he, if he receives one card instead, he will go to 10. And the problem closes here because 10 to 30 is maintaining the into 3 relationship. 10 to 30 is maintaining the into 3, into three relationship. And that's how you, you get the answer. The correct answer in this question is option B. Right? That's, that's the correct answer. Now, uh, what would happen in case, just, just to close this question, I would want to show you what would happen in case uh, you took a wrong option. Let's just see what happens. So I'm just cleaning the board to the point where I had uh, thought of the equations and introduced 31 into the options. So instead of 31, what happens if I introduce a 35 here? Same logic, multiples of 4 on top of 35 are 36 with the value of x is 1, 40 with the value of x is 5, 44 with the value of x is 9, Right, and of course, since everything is uh, adding up to 52, I really don't want numbers more than that. I really cannot think of 48 because with 48 here, I need 12 there. Won't work much. So it's so unlikely. So if I look at this, plus one, 35 plus one gives me 36. 35 minus one should be a multiple of three, but it gives me 34, which is not a multiple of three. So this pair is not working. Plus one minus one is not working. On the plus side, you're getting a multiple of four. But on the minus side, you're not getting a multiple of 3. Plus 5, minus 5, 40, 30. This might work. So, so we come into the picture, okay, okay. can we, does, does this situation fit the given uh, case? 40 is a multiple of 4, yes. 30 is a multiple of 3, yes. So plus 5 here, minus 5 there. So that's how I'm getting these two numbers. So if I now uh, think of, okay, 440 here, my number here has to be 10 because the into four relationship has to be met. And for this to be 10, this has to be 15 because X is five, so M has to be 15. And for this to be five, when I receive five cards, I should be 20. And you can see a failure of the situation, a situational failure at that point, because you can see very clearly that the into three relationship is not maintained between 20 and 30. So that's how you will be able to identify a wrong option in such questions. And if you pick up a wrong option, the, 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 the whole story will not play out. As, as I say, the story will not play out. Some parts of the, of the uh, situation will not play out towards the end. So that's it for Quant's question at day seven. I hope you're enjoying this and I'll come back to you with Quant's question at day eight. Please do share the videos, do like the, uh, uh, the video. Do comment and uh, let me know more feedback. Bye-bye.